Hey everyone, it's Sarah and today I am back with a subscriber requested video. So I had somebody ask me to do a, to review Mask Milano. So I went ahead and picked up a travel set here or a discovery kit, I should say. And um, I have been really, really good. I've had this for probably a week and a half now and I have not, I've only sniffed one. So one that I was, I have been so, so curious about, which was Russian tea. Um, I had to smell that one, but I have been really good and waited because I wanted to do like a first impression style video with this one. Um, now, as we're going through this, if there's anything that you guys want me to do like a full single review of, definitely let me know in the comments down below. I would be happy to do that. So it comes in, this is by far the most expensive <laughs> discovery kit I've ever bought. It was $95, but you will see why. So it comes in this beautiful, just black sleeve. And then you've got your box here and you open your box and it comes with the kind of brochure that gives you all of the notes and everything. And then they also included, uh, they included a carded sample of another, of another fragrance called Rayflection. So we will do that one. I also have one in here that, uh, came over in my sample swap and this is the new uh this is the new fragrance called madeline which i was really excited to try this one because i saw that they released it and i was i've been curious about it um that one it's really beautiful by the way i have sniffed that one okay this also comes with beautiful test strips as well as this little guy. Oh, let me show you the inside of the box. Gorgeous red velvet, beautiful two mil samples, a bunch of them. I think there's 12 of them in here. Yeah, there's 12 plus the reflection plus the Madeline. So we're going to have 14 fragrances to go over. And then it also came, I've been so curious about this. I think it might be chocolate, but it also came with this little, um, this little package and I have no idea what this is uh, so I've been waiting to open it but I'm pretty sure yes I'm pretty sure it's chocolate it is it's 60% cacao it is called caffarel and they are little chocolates um, is that you get chocolate with your Mask Milano discovery kit Okay, so we're gonna jump right in. We, like I say, we've got 14 cents to go over. I am going to give you the information straight from the card. And yeah, these, I did read through the notes of these and they've got some very interesting notes. Uh, so the first one we are going to test is called Teralba. And again, I will try to include pictures of all of these bottles. So Teralba. Gosh, these test strips are like luxurious. This is gorgeous. This is like, um, oh gosh, and I could tell this one changed. It changed immediately from the time I sprayed it and just even until now. This is a masculine leaning fragrance. This is quite herbal smelling to me quite spicy. Okay, so this one, they also come with like one little sentence to kind of give you an idea of, you know, uh, to kind of put an image in your head. And this one says, in front of you, the sea behind Mediterranean shrubland. Okay, so this is top notes of clary sage, lemon, and green tangerine. Heart notes of myrtle, thyme, curry leaves, and everlasting flower, and base notes of lentisk, ju juniper, cypress, and cedar wood. So, like I say, very um, spiced. It's a spiced, masculine-leaning, woody fragrance. 
it's really beautiful. Uh, not one that I would want to wear because it does lean quite masculine for me, but it's gorgeous and I would love to smell this on a man. So that is Terra Alba. The second one, I love the name of this. Ooh, these are quite tight in there, which is a good thing. Okay, this one is called Monte Cristo. I love the name of this. Okay, and mm. oh wow! <laughs> so Monte Cristo is in the living in the living room of an old villa in the Tuscan countryside. It is the close of day, and it almost is like a. It's almost like an earthy scent, like something has been baking in the sun all day. And like you can smell the heat radiating off of it. There's definitely like a... Gosh, almost like a clay type scent. Oh, it's beautiful. This is another one that is very masculine leaning. Okay, so this one is uh, top notes of cabruva, ambret seeds, and rum, heart notes of tobacco leaves, celery seeds, cystus, and benzoin. I love celery seed in a fragrance. Base notes of golden stone, styrax, gum, guyac wood, cedar wood, and patchouli. And it I knew I smelled like some kind of like a clay or you really can smell that like hot baking, uh, like stone fragrance. It's beautiful. Again, it's like, um, you can definitely smell the stone and it's woody, it's warm smelling, but again, very masculine leaning. So not one that I would wear, but I can appreciate it for what it is. It's beautiful. Okay, this next one is the only one that I snuck and smelled because I was dying to smell it. This is called Russian Tea, and this one is so beautiful. Um, it's another one that I can absolutely appreciate. I think it's stunning, but I would not probably wear it myself. Um, oh gosh, it's beautiful. Actually, I need to test this one on my skin because if this is one that worked well with my skin chemistry, I could see myself wearing it. There's something so beautiful about this and both my mom and I were having trouble like putting it down, like, you know, getting ourselves to stop smelling it. There's something and like I made up this whole image in my head of what this smelled like to me. This smells like to me, like it's 1850 and a huge hunting party of men just came back. Their dogs are tired and wet and they're, they all retreat to his smoking room of some huge like estate that they're on and they go into his smoking room and they're all sitting on leather couches and chairs and they're puffing on pipes. And that's what, like this image that I got in my mind. Now, let's see if I'm even close. I don't know. Okay, so it says, uh, day faded on the table, glowing the sam samovar of evening boiled. I think that's from like a poem or something because it has a name, A. Pushkin. Okay, so Russian tea is mint, black pepper, and raspberry, Black tea, magnolia, and everlasting flower, leather accord, incense, birchwood, sorry, birchwood and cystus labdanum. I knew I smelled leather in this. It does not have any tobacco, but it could be the incense that smells a little bit like tobacco to me. It has a slight sweetness to it. And it's not incensey in what I imagine incense, you know, or what incense to me usually smells like. It's beautiful. It's like you can conjure up a whole image in your brain just from this scent. 
it's really stunning. So that is Russian tea. I'm going to get overboard and this is going to be like an hour long video because I can't stop talking. Okay, the next one is called Times Square. So back to ones I have not smelled at all. So Times Square. Oh. Wow, wow, wow. This is beautiful. This is like right up my alley. This is super unique smelling. I'm getting sweetness from the get-go. Like a beautiful, delicate sweetness. Oh, wow. Okay, so Times Square is top notes of hazelnut accord and glossy lipstick accord. Heart notes of osmanthus and tuberose. Base notes of sandalwood, guyac wood, and styrax. Oh my gosh. Like, this has tuberose in it, but I wouldn't even know that that is what I'm smelling. It is blended to perfection with the osmanthus. So it's like creating this, like a floral note that I am not familiar with, which makes it very exciting for me. As it dries down, the woods start to come out, but it's delicate. It's like a delicate fragrance. It's not, there's nothing pungent here. There's nothing overtaking all of the notes. It's like you can, oh wow. There's something about that glossy lipstick accord that you can definitely smell it. It almost smells, it almost conjures up a scent memory for me, like what my old Cabbage Patch dolls used to smell like or something. Like there's a, oh my gosh, that's a stunner. I would love this one. I I'm going to wear this one for sure. I'm going to wear it. I'm going to see how that does on my skin. It's a stunner of a fragrance. Wow, so that one is Times Square. Okay, the next one is called Lu Lucy or Luci Ed Ombre. Let's say Luci Ed Ombre, I'm not sure. I'll show you guys and you can be the judge. Lucy Ed Ombre. So this, hmm. This is my favorite thing in the world, to just sit here and smell the most beautiful things, even if they're not, even if they're not fragrances I would want to wear. I just adore smelling things. This is beautiful. Okay, this is, it says, deep down in your soul. Okay, this is, oh, mm. okay, this has a top note of incense, and it says in quotes, cradle and karma of soaring light, uh, middle notes of ginger, tuberose, jasmine, and moss. Uh, quote, in the heart of the opera, the emotional continuum of the human being between desire and perpetual quest of oneself. Um, okay. And base notes of incense, cedarwood, and patchouli. Quote, wounded body, human lymph, deep and restless truth. This is beautiful. It is, it's got a ton of incense in it. It's got incense in the top and incense in the base, but... It is not an overpowering fragrance, and it's not, gosh, it's not even anything I would consider to be incense. It's, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. I am definitely getting the ginger, but it's not like a, I don't know. It's so weird, because it's like I'm reading these notes, 
and I'm smelling and I'm trying to reconcile what I know is in there and what I'm smelling because it's, I don't know, it's so different than what I'm used to. Like when I smell incense, I'm used to smelling like heavy, pungent, smoky, sweet incense, but that's not what I'm smelling here. When I smell ginger, I'm used to smelling that bite that you get when you smell ginger, that uh, almost tartness, that you can almost smell the heat from it, um, but that's not what I'm getting here. Um, the tuberose and the jasmine, again, we're used to smelling those very sweet, heavy white florals, but it's not what I'm getting. Um, it's just beautiful. The, as this dries down more, the ginger is really coming out. Oh, I would, this is another one I will be doing a full wear test of. I am loving this. It's stunning. So sorry, that is uh, Lucy Ed Ombre. Beautiful. Okay, I need to move it along because holy cow, you guys, we've got a lot of fragrances and I am just rambling. Next one we have is Mandala. And this is one that I have been dying to try for a while. This has been on my wish list on Lucky Scent for a long time. Um, I've just been really interested in this fragrance. So, Mandala, and it says underneath Mandala, the whole universe. Okay, this is, this is super, super woody. This is like a spiced wood fragrance. Wow, okay, so this is top notes of frankincense, nutmeg, and angelica, heart notes of cardamom, cinnamon, cloves, cystus, cedar, and incense, and base notes of myrrh, sandalwood, oak moss, tincture, sorry, Myrrh, sandalwood, oak moss, uh, and tincture of natural ambergris. Wow. It's, um, like I say, a very spiced wood fragrance. You really get that salty ambergris in here, though. I mean, it is, it's really prominent, that salty ambergris. This is beautiful. It's very fresh smelling, very clean smelling. Um, this is another one that is, it probably leans just a hair too masculine for my tastes, but boy, can I appreciate that for what it is. That is, that is an incredibly expensive smelling fragrance. It smells beautiful. I would love that on a man. So that is Mandala. Okay, the next one we have is called Hemingway, and it says in quotations, not quotations, I'm sorry, in parentheses before Hemingway, it says homage to Hemingway. So let's see what an homage to Hemingway smells like. Mm. <laughs> okay, it says his eyes were the same color as the sea and they were cheerful and undefeated. It was a quote from, or um, something that Hemingway wrote. Fun fact, Hemingway spent time in the town I live in, and he spent time here writing. Another fun fact, Hemingway was supposedly a secret uh, KGB spy, but from what I've read, he was very bad at it. <laughs> okay, this is very masculine. This is ginger oil. Okay, ginger oil fresh LMR. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll, we'll just say ginger oil. Rhubarb, uh, vetiver, vetiver heart LMR. Vetiver oil, well, vetiver oil heishi LMR. Vetiver oil java molecular distillation LMR. Cedarwood oil, patchouli oil, patchouli oil, molecular distillation, LMR, and leather. So sorry, that might have been a little bit confusing that I'm not used to reading notes like that. So it was a little confusing for me to read, but I hope you all got that. Very interesting. This is heavy, heavy on the leather. 
I get the beautiful vetiver. I adore vetiver, so I really get a lot, like a ton of vetiver. But I also get a ton of leather, which I'm not a fan of. This is beautiful. Very masculine. Very distinguished smelling. Very beautiful, but definitely not my cup of tea. So that is Hemingway. Okay, the next one is called Kins Kinsugi. Kintsugi. And this one says, be strong, mend broken bonds with gold. Kintsugi. Okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, I love this. Oh. Oh. <laughs> like, I can't stop saying that. Oh, it's so good. Okay. This is bergamot essential oil, magnolia china essential oil, savory amber, golden suede, centifolia rose, grass absolute, violet leaves absolute, Benzoin Siam, Raspberry Leaves Absolute, Patchouli Core, and Vanilla Absolute. This is stunning. You really get the green violet leaves and a ton of sweetness from the rose and the vanilla. You definitely get the greenness from the violet leaves and the raspberry leaves is giving it this really beautiful very natural, very authentic, like a crushed green smell, if that makes any sense. Oh, wow. Seeing amber in the top notes is new for me. Um, I've definitely seen notes like that in top notes of fragrance, but you don't see it often. Oh, it's beautiful. It's it's a very beautiful green floral fragrance, but it's got a lot of body to it. It's got a heaviness to it. You definitely get the patchouli and the benzoin. Oh, it's gorgeous. Very, very unique. That's a beautiful one. Uh, maybe not something I would want to wear all the time. This would definitely be more of a winter fragrance for me. It's quite heavy but quite light at the same time from all the green, but I'll give it a try. I'll update you guys on that one. That one's very interesting. That is called Kintsugi. Okay, next we have Laetza. 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 Yeah. Okay, now. Okay. <laughs> this is a straight up iris fragrance. This is a stunning iris fragrance. It's beautiful. It's powdery, but creamy and earthy smelling. Ah, it's a unique iris fragrance. This says, all is set for the rendezvous. This has top notes of Italian bergamot, Moroccan neroli, and champagne accord. Heart notes of Italian iris absolute, Italian iris root butter, French iris root butter, tuberose absolute, ylang ylang, Madagascar and base notes of sandalwood, mysore, oak moss, and leather accord. This is beautiful. It's just a straight up iris fragrance. It's got a lot going on, but it's all about the iris. It's just gorgeous. That champagne accord keeps it or gives it like a lightness. Nothing is heavy here. It's not a makeup -y iris at all. This does not smell like makeup. This smells like just a beautiful powdered iris. There's no sweetness here. Ooh, I can't wait to try this one on my skin. 
In fact, I'm gonna do that right now. I just, I just wanna spray this on my skin. I wanna see what it does. Oh, wow. Wow, it's beautiful. Okay, moving right along because my battery is gonna die as always. Next we have Romanza. Romanza is, the studio was filled with the rich odor of roses. Ooh, I'm in for a treat here. Oh, wow. Wow, this has, okay. So there's no rose in this. <laughs> this is, it says the appearance, dandy's touch. So this is absinthe or artemisia, orange blossom in angelica, French narcissus absolute, violet leaves, jasmine, decadent woods, which are vetiver, cedarwood, patchouli, amber cord, and myrrh. It's beautiful. This is very, very decadent smelling. Oh, wow. Hmm. You definitely get the florals, but they're adding like a sweetness to this beautiful, almost like a lacquered wood type fragrance. In fact, when I sprayed it, that was the first thing I thought of. It smells like a beautiful lacquered wood or something. It's really beautiful. Probably not one I could pull off, but stunning nonetheless, like just art. Art in olfactive, in the olfactive category, I should say. Beautiful. So that is Romanza. Okay, next, we're getting close to the end here. Next, we have Love Kills. This is another one I've been so, so interested in. Okay, oh, now this is a rose fragrance. The rose of love is in full bloom, that's what it says. Okay, this is rose oil Turkish LMR, geranium oil Egypt for life LMR, love skin accord, ambrette absolute LMR, ambrette absolute LMR, and rose oxide, which I guess is the love skin accord and Rose Absolute Turkish LMR, Patchouli Oil Molecular Distillation Indonesian LMR, and Love Scars Accord, which is Cedarwood Oil, Animalic Musks, and Ambrochrome. Sorry, Ambrochrome. Ambrochrome. This is beautiful. It's a gorgeous rose fragrance. It's like a it's like a fresh red rose smell, but with a ton of other things going on. Um, oh. But it's centered around that beautiful like red rose. This is a dark rose. This is gonna be something like Francis Kirkjian, um, Oud Satin Mood, or the, um, the Elisab Root, oh my gosh, Elisab Essence Number no. One Rose. It's that kind of a rose. It's gorgeous. But I'm glad I never, I, this was one I almost blind bought a bottle of. I'm glad I didn't because it reminds me so much of some fragrances I already have. It's a gorgeous one though. This would be a great alternative, like if you want the Essence Number One Rose and were never never able to get your hands on it, but you are dying for a bottle of it, this would be a good alternative. As an expensive alternative, but an alternative nonetheless. That's beautiful, beautiful rose fragrance. Okay, next we have got, and last in our in our set here, we have got Tango, and this one I'm really excited to smell because I bought the Dua dupe of this. Um, and I don't love it. I don't love the Dua dupe. Oh my gosh. And I should have known that I had a feeling that the Dua dupe was not going to be as good as the original. And boy, was I not wrong. 
This is a stunner. I knew that there was a reason people love this so much. That is one of the most beautiful amber fragrances I think I've ever smelled. Oh my gosh, I will be selling my Dua dupe and I will be buying a full bottle of this. I am in love. I love an amber fragrance anyways, but this is magic. Wow, okay. It says, a midsummer night, the bower in full bloom, large wooden tables, a, li a liquor, and music. Bergamot, black pepper, and cardamom, Sambach jasmine absolute, Damascina rose oil, cumin and patchouli, vanilla bean, tonka bean, melilot absolute, amber accord, leather accord, benzoin, and musks. That is gorgeous. Wow, boy, do I understand the hype now. I'm going to compare it side by side to my Dua dupe. If you guys want any information on that, definitely let me know. But I can tell you from smelling my Dua one before this that, and not really liking that one, it didn't do this justice. Oh gosh, so that is Tango. Okay, next, if I can get through this video without my battery dying, I will be so happy. Okay, next one is called Reflection, and this is... Oh, this is gorgeous. This is Mandarin Essence, Sparkling Aldehydes, Cardamom Pure Jungle Essence, Mimosa Absolute France, Violet Leaves Absolute, Solar Rays Accord, Beeswax Absolute, Cedarwood Essence, and Musk Accord. This is gorgeous. This is light and bright. You get those beautiful aldehydes, but they are so modern and so crisp. It smells like, it's slightly sweet, but more tart than sweet. It's kind of citrusy. It almost smells like an effervescent soda or candy. But, Oh my gosh, that is stunning. Wow, I will be doing a full wear test of this as well. It is, if you guys want me to do just a full wear test of all of my favorites, everything that I loved, and then um, make notes about it, and then do another Mask Milano video of my favorites, I would be happy to do that. Let me know if you guys are interested and I will get started on that. Wow, that is stunning. That would be a perfect like spring, summer, hot weather scent. So that is called Reflection. Okay, and then last but not least, this one's gonna be a little bit harder, so I'll probably just test it on my skin. This is Madeline. This is a new one that just came out. Oh, wow. This is... Okay. Oh, oh, this is nutty and sweet. This is more gourmand. I don't have the notes right in front of me. I didn't look these up. I should have before I did this, but this is a sweet, nutty gourmand fragrance. This smells like something to eat. <laughs> It smells like a beautiful chocolate from a box of chocolates. Like something yummy, like a caramel truffle with nuts in it. Oh my gosh, that's what it smells like. It smells like a beautiful, like caramel nut chocolate. It's gourmand, it's yummy. It's excellent quality. I mean, the the quality of it is outstanding. There's nothing synthetic here. There's nothing, wow. Sometimes gourmands can get too synthetic for me. This one is not, it's stunning, wow. So that is Madeline from, again, Mask Milano. 
So anyways, guys, that is an overview of Mask Milano. I hope you all enjoyed this. I am going to start working on a video doing full wear tests of all of my favorites in here. Um, so I will do a follow-up to this video. I hope you all enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.